What's up guys and welcome back to my channel. Um, I know some of you ask for MTT play and I promise you it's coming. I'm either playing Friday or Saturday this week and today is Tuesday, Tuesday evening. So yes, it's coming, stay tuned. Um, if you just like that, skip this video and wait for an upload, probably Saturday evening, maybe already Friday night, but probably coming Saturday. Um, yeah, um, that said, I'm gonna jump into PLO Rush on GG Poker. We have our sheet here, let me show you, um, where we kind of track the progress. It's just the third session I'm tracking. Um, yeah, and I didn't have the greatest day today. Actually still have some stuff I should finish today, but I'm not really feeling it. So I just thought I'm gonna jump into a short or maybe even up to one hour PLO session on GG Poker and gonna record it for you guys. Um, so let's see how it goes. If I feel like I'm totally off my A game, I'm gonna stop early, but otherwise I'm probably planning on playing up to, yeah, like I said, one hour. So um, I also not gonna be talking that much. I mean, if I feel like it, I will do so, but it's mostly gonna be gameplay. Interesting here, I don't know, it could be, but I think it's too loose to re-raise, so. Um, gonna try to knit it up because generally my playstyle tends to be a bit spewy, but it's gotten better. Um, not enough data on him if he had like 90 hands and playing too much. Oh, actually, I think with his overcall, we can come along. Um, the deuce is really ugly. If it would at least be double suited or like an eight, it'd be so much more happy. If he's three bets a lot, I'm gonna get this in. Double suited kings um, perform well if he has just an ace x hand. And uh, now I am. Don't love it, but we are priced in now. I think maybe kings should still be a fold. I'm not sure, but double suited probably not. He actually has it here. It's I'd say a bit unfortunate, um, and he has also the nut flo flush draw, which is even more unfortunate. We have a nice turn actually for us, giving us quite some extra outs. So 42.5% on the turn, and we don't get there. Yep, already one buy and down. Um, given his stats, I think my Three bet, get it in with double suited kings. Connected is fine. Also here, losing 18 big blinds. Let's see what these guys turn up with. He squeezed, but not full pot, I think. Was it full pot? Probably was. I actually don't hate this call preflop. Um, it's probably marginal because you rather have like a hand like this um, with a better card than a deuce. But generally speaking, this performs okay-ish, you know how to play post-flop and yeah, too bad. I'm not sure, I guess it's an open on the cutoff. Sky three bets. Mm. With the deuce, really not happy again. <laughs> I think we're getting a lot of marginal spots right now, but double suited, I still think if I open this, I also need to call a three bet. And again, just losing some blinds. Could start potentially bluffing here, but I think he's checking range on this board and his range also contains a lot of st strong hands, mostly range. Um, I could bring a stab here, um, but I actually don't think it um, helps often enough. If I had a spade, blo uh, a diamond blocker, probably would do it. Now I want to go full pot. Why? Because I'm having all the queens here and it's the only way I can take this pot down. So I think this might be slightly plus EV. Works. Him checking on the turn. Uh, yeah, with the flush coming in, if he doesn't have anything there except like blank aces. I don't know, I still want to see a, a, sh a tiny bet to follow out all the trash um, that can then exploit on the river. He's really tight, I think. <laughs> Unfortunately, again, a marginal spot, which I'm gonna flat. And this is nice. This hits my range so much better. I don't know if he knows, but I'm gonna flat here. 
Oh, and she just hit the turn. Ha! Huh. Oh, never mind. <laughs> but uh, I think maybe I should stab here. I think, unless he has something. Um, his tiny sizing. I think I want to just click it back and charge some flush draws. Sure, we're getting him, giving him a great price if he has the flash draw on the turn. Actually, he had us on the flop. Wow, such a lucky turn. Amazing. Yeah, we can run it twice. Here's some two pair outs. That's it. Nice. Getting one buy and back is really nice after the double suited kings. <laughs> okay, but I should mark this down actually. So he three bets in position. Seven, six, five, four, single suited, if I remember correctly. Actually, that's so nice. I also got a three bit. Why? Because I think it performs better uh, against an opening. And I need to confirm his hand. Seven, six, five, four, single suited. <laughs> exactly the same hand I have. That's really bad. This crushes his range, but it also. I have some ace check here. The problem is. I think I'm gonna gonna stab. Actually, I think I need to check this back. Um, with the rainbow turn, I'm gonna bet here once and then give up. Like a sizing that makes allows me to jam river. The line only makes sense with aces and a jack, uh, obviously. Yeah, I I get it. But sometimes he has a similar hand than we do, or like a double pair hand that doesn't have anything, so don't hate it. Monotone board here, let's try to play GTO. <laughs> he just snap flats. Makes sense. He should with all his range. And now the river. I actually want to pot this. And this one I want to raised here sure i guess a flush often calls still but with the ace blocker the jack blocker it's really great okay what did we get ourselves into here i think in a three bet situation with a pair against two i'm not sure if it's it's still approved but if we get to fold some equity hands here it's great i mean like a pure straight draw should probably fold so yeah, it is what it is. Can't fault here. Just hoping it he has a better better draw, so we're pretty dead. Yeah. A bit spewy here, I'm, I'm uh, not denying that. That's a very unfortunate turn. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's below. Um still I'm not sure if I should put pot there. Ah, I'm not happy about this play. I probably should just check call or check fold. And here I can't do much. He probably has a bad flush, but... Ooh. He's king king nine. Yeah, why not? Maybe I missed out on some value, probably, possibly. Would he call the river? I don't know. Probably just calls one street, which was the flop. Okay, typical case of checking back, reevaluating turn. But I think mostly we are not very alive on a board like this against two callers. It's a great turn. One of the best turns, to be honest. If, <coughs> if we were ahead on the flop, we are way more ahead now. Um, I'm not sure I want to bet this though. I, I guess I do because King Jack, Tiber Fans, King 10, Queen 10 have a ton of equity against us, but we are still ahead of them, so we want to charge these. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna check it down now. Hoping we are good. Ooh, faded a bit. Um, here, it's just a flat, I guess. It's a great 
port to to jam it in, I guess. Backdoor pair plus double backdoor flush draw plus. Okay, now we have it. <laughs> I think I want to bet big to. Well, actually, I shouldn't bet too big because we are blocking some flush draws. That's one of the worst rivers. But I mean. He doesn't have many sets here, ex except pocket fives maybe that for somehow, for some reason, didn't want to raise turn. Gonna check and, and call a bluff. Ah, I was hoping he would find a bluff here. But with this value hand, of course he doesn't. Yeah, I didn't bet bigger on the turn. He would have called a bigger bet, I guess, with this specific hand, but he doesn't have too many flush draws there. Yeah, it's very interesting. I think I'm just gonna pot it in a three bet pot. Actually, I'm not sure. I think that's that's a mistake with this specific hand. Should think a little bit longer, but it's always a little stressful in the Russian cash. Three betting here. Um, I think this is a big bet fold type of situation. Maybe it's even too bad to bring a C bet. Yeah. Hmm. If they both check, oh, he has only 10 big bands. Well, I gotta get out here. Only the gut shot. What? Oh, yeah. Ooh. He bets this one, yeah? Well played. Ten minutes in and oh, I don't know, one and a half binds down, <laughs> I guess. I sh probably should tone down the aggression, especially against two players. And remember to play medium strong hands a little bit more passive. It's interesting. Again, I don't love the check on this flop because we're blocking with the 8 quite well. But if you're getting check raised here, it also sucks. So we have the back to flush. I guess the check is still slightly preferred. Might have a pair. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Pairs often play this passive, I noticed. Just hoping to get to cheap showdown. Oh, that's nice. I want to race in a 3-bet, even though these players are not that... <laughs> oh, come on, not a 2x. I hate 2x. Ugh, it's so ugly. Come on, man. I think I should race this. <laughs> he just folds. 2x fold MP. It's very fishy in my opinion. What do I do here? Um, I'm trying to play GTO. Just calls. I mean, now that's a bad turn because you can have a lot of straights, but. I'm unblocking all the flush draws, so I'm just going to keep barreling. Yeah, nice. Oh, he's a tight boy, but I really like this three, but in position. Calling isn't terrible either. Maybe this is a little bit too strong to three bet because we are not happy with a four bet, but we're very happy to play in position. Yeah. Against him, I have to call. I'm gonna bring in the C bet, see what he does and how he reacts. I'm expecting a lot of gems here, a lot of flash draws, top pair, whatever, I have to snap call it. Ah, that's not the hand I wanted to see. Wow, such a crusher hand in this spot. Mm. Mm. But it's almost a cooler against a shorty like him, in my opinion. Like I said, I could play it differently. Just flat preflop, then he probably squeezes. 
Oh, I don't know what to do with this. Okay, let's play a little bit more passive against the active. Probably fish. I should maybe also check the lobby to see who is a rag. Not a bad turn, but it also means he has some kings and queens that he does this line with. So I bet here I'm very polarized. Um, but I could, nah, it's against two, that's too loosey goosey again. Just flatting here with very bad trip queens. <laughs> well, 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 now we really need to be, yeah. Yeah, I'm still not sure. Should I bet the turn? Do I have a bet for value here? I don't think so. Some people play aces like this. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I said this, I, well, I thought this. I'm not sure if I said it before I saw the aces. I guess I said it like half a second before he showed his hand. This hand I'm getting it in against 50 big blinds. It's close. No, oh, what? Really running into top of the ranges. I need to fold this, I think. I'm out of position. And the ace doesn't help at all because if he has two aces, this ace really is pretty bad. Maybe you can find a call here, actually double, with a double flash draw possibility. Ah, it's so close. Again, I'm in such a stupid spot. If he has ace with a queen here, I'm so dead. He should be a little bit reluctant to jam. <laughs> He's not. Honestly, I think a fold is better. Well, how many? I know actually queen helps me. Possibly a six and a five. If he has any, if he has ace queen here, I'm just so fucking dead. Would he do this with ace queen though? No, I don't think so. It's probably just aces that can't fold. Uh, I don't like my play too much. Yeah, with this equity we are happy to play it this way. I think this is better as a jack. <sighs> nice job. Now a six, yes, and hold it. Wow, super lucky here. <laughs> Um, yeah, I'm gonna call here. I feel like I don't know how to play anymore. Do I have any notes on him? Spewy. Okay, I'm gonna check back here. Yes! Glad I found this note. Uh, now I'm gonna raise. <laughs> I hope he doesn't have the same hand. But he snap pots, lol. Hmm. That's annoying. <laughs> That's really annoying. Oh, but he had the, the set, so okay. Not complaining too much. He really snap bets the nuts on the river against the check. Interesting. I said I wouldn't talk much, but I think I'm talking quite a bit. Um, Come on, I'm gonna fold this. Give me a raise. Is this the guy? The spewy guy? No. Mm, nicely connected. Like, unfortunately, it's in the small blind, not my favorite position. Gonna raise him. Ready to get it in. Ready, Happy to fold out some slightly higher equity hands from him. But okay, now that he folds, just need to play. Um, I think I prefer starting off with a bigger bet. I think these kings are too weak. You can open them, but really nothing going on. Yeah, I think the play is fine because we can continue on a lot of streets um, quite aggressively. Similar hand, slightly better position. Guess I'm gonna open this one. It's really not greatly connected. Double ga gap on top is not so nice. And he 
tank raises. Not a great flop. Uh, we are so way behind against aces. If he brings half pot or more, I'm gonna fold. Yeah, because we really don't have many outs. If an eight peels, yeah, that would be nice. Um, but then that's one of the very few. He might slow down on an eight or like, yeah, but no. Okay. <laughs> Results oriented. I'm fine with it. Okay, nice kings here. Very nice aces. Fat boomer. Wow. Maybe it's not a great time to play it right now. Hmm. <laughs> Interesting board. Not sure what's the better play. <clears throat> I don't have great... well... Hmm. <laughs> what the heck is this? I'm gonna call this. Queen check 10, 5. I really don't know what this is. Probably it's an ace, ace most of the time. I'm calling to U now, I think. With a 9 peeling, I might be better... Uh, <coughs> might be better off betting, falling out some flush draws. And if he has an ace, we're probably gonna hear from him. He's most likely to have one. <laughs> Looking at his stats, not really. Question is, does he fold a flush draw to this bet sizing? He should in theory, but possibly not. I really like that I have a nine. I would probably never bet here if I didn't have the nine. It's a great river. Um, unless, of course, he has an ace. Um, when we never get him to fold, I think. He can also have pocket checks. Given that he calls again. I don't see him falling on ace, so... And that's the only thing we are kind of worried about. Can have 10-8. Uh, that he probably doesn't fold too, so I'm just gonna check. Wow, he had these. <laughs> so actually, yeah, fuck. Maybe I'm too optimistic playing against two players here. Probably. Let's see if we can turn it around. Let's see. I'll defend this most likely. Falling this against UTG. Mm, you hope it's a lot, but this is really badly connected. Can open, maybe. If someone else calls. I'm gonna peel it in here too. If the second nuts, that's nice, but it's not great. I think I just want to call. Here I want to bet pretty big with the fake nut straight. And here with a flash blocker, I want to bring a raise. Not sure if it's a good idea. Yeah. Interesting. Could open this, I guess, but uh, seems a little bit too spewy. I saw from the small blind against the short here. Ah, he comes along. I'm gonna play stacks against him. Now I'm just flatting, I guess. Uh, against two.
Yeah, that's the problem with the sizing. It's GTO, I think. I'm not sure against two, but... Um... Ah, I hate to lay this down, but against the pot size bed. He's still there. Um, it opens up so many exploits. Yeah, we are here sandwiched. I have to fold this, I guess. Top set, probably not, but... He's very tight. Don't love three bedding this. I don't I don't like folding. Can I fold this? I really don't know. <laughs> mm. I'm gonna raise this. I'm gonna bet this sizing and pot river, I guess. We also have some extra outs. With the king, it's nice to block to the nut full house. <sighs> Usually, I like to three bet this. Oh, let's just flat it. That's a pretty hand. I'm gonna three bet this for sure. Double backdoor, flush draw. Some back to straight draw. I think we need to peel one. That's kind of the best turn ever. Kind of. <laughs> That's too beautiful. I think I wanna bet. I wanna bet this. I think. Okay. I don't know what to do here. Should I get him to fold? No, he can still have top set and stuff I guess I take I just take my equity here and just fold it because we brick like a total donk <laughs> that's really unfortunate I mean yeah oh equity is beautiful on the turn unless he has like queen 10 8 something and our odds are quite diminished limp limp we have a double suited ace x hand so <laughs> Interesting, limp race UTG. I'm gonna call this. have some no nah, not really I guess I'm falling here yeah hmm I guess I should open this if he falls no I'm not hmm what do I do with this hand? Against him I'm raising. It's out of position, but... Oh, okay, and I'm just flatting. Should still play pretty decent. We either hit it or we don't. Or we hit the nut blocker. But sometimes against bad plays, it's not so great to play them. <sighs> against the sizing... Nah. I need some more extra equity. Method <laughs> had I flopped a double flush draw, I'd probably call against the sizing. I don't even know it's a, if it's a good idea. Yeah, on this turn we would also need to give up. On many turns we need to give up, that's the thing. With the eight and the, I think I'm just gonna bet big here. Here I'm checking for protection of my equity. Mm. 
Now I'm gonna bet big and fall to any action. It's a weird turn. Not sure if I should bet there, but I'm gonna bet big here. I have the nut blocker and second nut blocker and so on and some equity if you're getting caught. I'll raise this. Easy race here. believe him I think he's really aggressive there's not many deuces in his range mm, well there are some just oh best turn ever I mean he could have had it um, but I can't fold now obviously I think we're just getting it in if he has a deuce with some extra full house outs um, I'm better getting it in and I'm not falling to a river shaft on most rivers anyway, so I'm yeah, sure he sometimes falls here. Or oh, if he has like four doors, that would be so ugly. Wow, he really has. <laughs> uh, guys, that's so disgusting. We need a king. It's really disgusting. I mean, sure, anything, but I guess a random deuce still still cause the turn or he could have like nah I think that's just bad run um, you could debate calling the flop race that's for sure third nut flush here against <laughs> against the whole party he's so active I think I'm gonna call here probably does this with sets and stuff if, if the board pairs you're not gonna bother and stick around anymore or if someone else raises, sure. I actually hope no one calls because that <clears throat> minimum means a flush usually, or I mean minimum a set. What is this family pot stuff? Price was just too cheap with the suited days. Yeah, uh, if this would be a spade, it would be really great. He checks. I'm gonna check back. Ah, if he's nitty, third nut flush. Actually, I think I want to go for value. With the second nut flush, I definitely would do this. With the third, I'm really not sure. Because he could do the check back with the second nut flush. I think a flush causes here, so... But maybe I'm opting a little bit too much on the sin value side. I don't know if this can be a call, it's slightly connected. I think in GTO land it might even be a fold. But and then there's the other side of GTO land where you flop quads. I just hope he has like something here. I don't know, can I bet this? I think I have to pot this. I don't, I'm not happy about this one. We three bet preflop, so we have all the aces. But no value here. Mm. I think some weaker flushes might fold. We also, I mean, if he has a yeah, King X might fold some weaker flushes. I think this is a good bet. And we are never good here if we bet turn and he calls. Okay. 
If this three red range would be on the higher side, I will happily forward here. It's it's not a pot size bet. So I think I'm I think calling is better. <laughs> I really debated a lot and I, here I'm getting it in. Over pair, gut shot, not flush draw. Okay, he really has it. Aces, awesome set or what? Oh, that's ugly, my friend. You mean, bro. Can we just hit it? <laughs> Why does he have 0 0.5 more? Wow. Doesn't even want to run it twice. That sucks. I'm not sure if this is a correct 3-bit, but it's not, not very far off. HA! Gotcha! Thank you. Mm, I think I have to give up here. Let's... We could have chopped probably with a run it twice, but... Nah. If you don't want to, that's fine with me. <laughs> Stupid donk pot bet. 965 under the gun, everybody's loosey goosey. I'm folding this guy, not three betting too much. What's going on, man? I'm not sure. Okay, since he just flats, since he just flats, I'm ripping it in here. Back to flush draw over pair. Sometimes he has the straight. He shouldn't have many two pair of sets here, so. He might have like queen 10 check 8 or something, and then of course he needs to call this too. Let's see. Huh? What is this? <laughs> okay. Uh, this was. I, I thought he was a thinking player. It's just random. I think he still gets the right odds probably to call here, but that was pretty bullshit. It's an open ender now, right? No, plus like kind of a mini wrap. Uh, good for you. And he gets there. Fuck. It's really annoying. Got it in pretty well. I think we are running sl mm, slightly below EV. Not sure. Also, it's some ugly, ugly spots. Let me see. Is it the same guy again? Yeah. Uh, what was that hand again? King, Queen, 7, 5, single suited. That's really bad. Oh, come on, what's going on here? I got a fault. Hmm, weird. We have here so two pair and a gut shot. A really bad gut shot. Just pots it. That's usually a flash drop plus some extra. I guess I call one. Hoping for the mega dry turn. Still too wet. If there's a pot again, I'm gonna fold. Okay. Close one. The hijack maybe should. Nah, I think I should fold this very close. Yeah, I'm guessing this is a fold. Open ender, nothing really else going on. Could almost check raise this.
probably calling his flash door? No. Okay. Similar to the previous hand, they are t so loosey goosey, so. Prefer raising over calling against his opening range. Yeah, and here I prefer folding against the loosey goosey players. If some of these guys get in, we need to call. If he forbids, it's an easy fold. That's weird. That's really weird. Uh, <laughs> I think small bet mm, calling. <laughs> oh my god. Wow, he just jams it. Uh, what the heck is this? I'm guessing he's jamming a lot of king x here. Mm, okay, I'm gonna call this and really make it turn dependent. Yeah, now I'm getting it in. <sighs> Hopefully it's just a flash draw. Yay. That's why I feel like if I bet here I cannot fold given the action. Now we just need to hold a 67.5%. Mm. Yeah, but sometimes he also has the wrap or already a straight on the turn for sure. But this was a little too aggro. Hoping for some action from straight draws, fl flush draws, and open enders. Um, that's a straight draw, <laughs> open ender. Uh, mostly I'm hoping for a lower set that immediately raises. That's why I see that there. Against two, it's a little bit too dynamic, the board. Not very much, but a bit. Three, open. Three bad. What do I do here? Fold. 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 Wow, great Bryce with a very borderline hand. But in position. <laughs> Gonna check raise this. Oh, that's a nice turn. Someone could have trapped queens or jacks that are a little bit afraid of a straight on the flop. <laughs> That's bad. Hopefully he just has a, has a flush draw. He could have a straight himself that he... I don't think we get him off, so... Gonna check and hope we are good. Ah. Mm. Also makes sense. Hmm. Why do we pick up equity? That's so annoying. I don't know how to continue now. <laughs> it's weird because we have all the two pairs and stuff, but it, I guess he has some better two pairs. This is too good to not ice, so even though the ace is not suited, probably getting it in against this laggy guy. We want some folds, of course. And here against him, I'm, I think... Oh, wow. What do we have here? A wrap? Yeah, I don't have the flash draw, but I still need to get it in top pair. If the, someone has a straight, that would be really ugly. I'm just going to flat here. Hmm, good outcome. Uh, <laughs> 
Okay, open ender top pair. It just flats, so I think we can get it in. Yeah, I think so. Oh, we are ahead. <laughs> no. <laughs> Why is he so lucky? Eek. Not a fan here. I think I could wrap the nut straight on the flop that I checked once. Helps a little bit to have the uh, blocker here, the flush draw blocker, so we have more faults in their range. Okay, already 45 minutes in. I didn't feel great in the beginning. I think I'm starting to warm up my brain a bit against this view stats. Just get it in with kings, even especially if they are a little bit better than just random kings. They are connected. And are we running into aces again? I don't think so. Yeah, this time we are way ahead here. Ooh, I like the flop. What outs does he have? <laughs> okay, exactly two. Come on, let's hold on one time. That was nice. That's like a donation, actually. Should definitely mark this down. Ace King six five. That was crazy. That was crazy. Definitely three bang this hand, calling a four bet. Uh, oh, that's why. Like beautiful, beautiful flop. Well, it could be slightly better, but it's still really, really good. It should be ahead of most of his hands. <laughs> what is this run out? Only pocket nine. No, ten nine would have beat us still. But This is nice. If he bet here, I would raise. Now I'm just checking back. Mm, don't like it. He might have an ace here. Okay. Fat Boomer, that sounds like such a rag name. Let me check this guy. Well, I placed two tables, so I'm not sure. That's interesting. Double back to flush draw, and we block the nuts. I think I want to start with a sh small bet. And if he raises, we're getting it in. Because he should raise a lot here. Just given ranges. But I'm blocking so hard. Now we're just getting it in. Yeah, we're just getting it in. We are blocking the nuts. Um, he can pick up quite some equity here. He very rarely has a set that he just wants to call because... I'm, but yeah, nice. Nice. Uh, this is a really, really, really shitty um double suited hand so i prefer to play as a race and fall to any action i guess <laughs> yeah so we're just gonna check call it down mostly here we can't do much gonna bring in a super maybe i should see that this but uh, the king protects us a little bit Oh, nice. Actually had a decent hand. <laughs> Not great, but decent. Yeah, okay, now I'm falling. <laughs> mm. 
Hinter den... <laughs> Snapfold, like it. Picking up aces. Yeah, I'm not too thrilled about these ones, especially if he plays back at us. Wow, how many hands can you play? Yes. Nah, this is not the right turn to barrel. We should be good here most of the time. I'm gonna check and hope someone finds a bluff bed. Wow, well, pot. I'm too bad to fold this. I, have, I don't know nothing about him. Nice. Definitely calling here. Uh, yeah, just flatting. Oh, this is difficult. If there's a, like a half pot sizing, I probably need to continue if one guy folds. He could stab him. It should hit his range more. I can also hit my range, but I don't want to get check raised with some decent equity here. Not great, but this is a great turn, of course. One of the better ones. Yeah, it should be good here most of the time. <laughs> it's an interesting turn. I think I want to go... <laughs> that worked out well. We wouldn't want to see that river again. Nice, nice stacking some chips. We really need that after a rough start. Not bad. Sometimes if you play live PLO and you don't get any hands and you see this, you suddenly feel like you're in heaven. Even though it's not such a great hand, actually. This it doesn't have super amazing equity. Yeah, against aces it has, but against some other hands, it's not that great. One a bit smaller here. Um, against him on this board, I'm getting it in, I guess. Hmm. Things are going a little bit our way right now. That's sweet. Ace is sweet. Close, but I'm not opening. I would have always opened this just a while ago. Like I said, I was quite the spirit player. This seems like a wreck. Tree my hand. Let's see, where are you? Nope, oops. Bad flop. Uh, hello. No, actually it's not. What happened? Everybody calling. That's insane. Actually, this guy looks from the stats more like a rag. Yep, he is. Finally found one. Check, 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 pot. Um, yeah, I guess that's mostly full houses. Some flushes. <laughs> Some weird bluffs with a blocker. Oh, I wanted to see it. Did he call? Hmm. 
a nice hand. Now I can see it. He had quartz. <laughs> wow. It was the nut full house against the absolute nut quartz. Wow. Okay. I'm folding this one. Oh, that's interesting. I prefer the re-raise against UTG here. It's a little bit dicey if you four bets. Uh, not unless you flop top set. This is beautiful. This deep, I want to re-raise here again. And we have to call a four bet, a uh, five bet. Might tank five bet. That's annoying, but I'm happy to get folds here. That's always aces, but the thing is we can play very easily post-flop. Just fold and just waste 100 big blinds. <laughs> yeah. Mm, that sucks. My bad. I think we're getting enough folds. Um, yeah, actually in position... It's not that great. If we were in position, maybe it's a better play. Yeah, but on average with his stats, I think we're getting enough folds. If he does ever forward here without aces, then we made a big mistake, I'd say. Hmm, okay. Maybe, yeah, on the button, I think I can call this, but it's close is also fine. Luigi MC. Folding now. Folding now. Just check. Really bad kinks. Rag. He raises a lot. Wow, top set. Top set. Um, if it was suited to the ace, I might three bet here, but no, it's just. Actually, I think I should check call here against two. I didn't notice it's. I thought it's head up, heads up, but it's not. Half pot sizing. Could be ultra nuts like queen check of diamonds. We are unblocking the flash draw, so we let him barrel and decide on the river. It's a good sizing to easily. If he has queen check or maybe ace, like the nut flush plus queen check, then. Please barrel again, man. No, oh, I hate if he checks here, but I think donking is a mistake. I mean, he can have pocket tens, but if he has pocket nines, pocket eights, he usually does. There's not many hands we're afraid of. Like, <laughs> yeah, there's no hand we're afraid of except pocket tens, of course, but it's not many full houses he has. He can have king ten every once in a while, nine ten. But he didn't bet full pot, so I guess he just has something missed. Just a missed flush draw could be. Finds the fold. Good for us. Nice. We're getting some chips back that we donked off, off with the king 10, 9, 8 double suited. I don't think it was really donking it off. It was just one of these spots. <laughs> <laughs> okay, gonna start with a check back. Actually, I think the right way to play is like to bet very tiny in position here. Folding out some o no, actually, actually, I should just check this. <laughs> we are either good or we aren't. That's very basic. I mean, if you're getting a call from pocket sixes here every once in a while, it's great, but. Still hope he just checks. Mm, 
seems like very raggish this guy probably betting like checks plus here this yeah <laughs> that could even be tens or a deuce or whatever definitely this is a check back here yeah, I'm happy with the fold easy call it's a nice river what beats us here check nine check nine mostly kings eights there's a lot of stuff actually that speeds us but i'm just still gonna call with my two pair now okay straight Ugh. i'm not sure about this call He very quick, quickly and confidently clicked it. So we are in for one hour. I'm folding this, by the way. We're gonna play a little bit longer. Thanks for staying so long. If you watch the whole thing, uh, leave a comment. Um, I want to hear some PLO experiences. What channel are you view on PLO? And if you're just watching because you're actually waiting for tournament content, like I said. Just stay tuned to the end of this week and you will get it. Free ninety nine. Okay. It's a great turn. I'm gonna I'm gonna barrel this. I wanna bet tiny here because I'm black blocking flashes and straights you can find some I mean yeah never getting him to fold a flash we're never getting him to fold a flash we're getting him to fold we're blocking the straights we're blocking some flash we're getting him to fold two pair here so I'm got, definitely gonna barrel once I think we should stick to the plan okay finds the call what is that? Oh, weak straight. Wow. Yeah, okay. With the flash block, I don't hit it. Don't know why I didn't 3-bit preflop. It's kind of close. Getting it in on this flop. Also not thrilled because if he check raises this flop, that's, what is it, like a set or straight draw plus flash draw? I think this is an okay open from the cutoff. Uh, high check. This is close. Uh, I think I'm gonna open this, but it's really close. Suited to the king, I think it's 100% an open. Not from under the gun, maybe, but with this hand. Okay, open and double. Double flash draw. Adding, I guess. What do I do here? I have a double gutter, is that all? And a weak flush draw and no pair. Wow. I don't know what to do. <laughs> I really don't know what to do here. It's weird. Now I'm not betting, actually. Yeah, because no one has aces. We only usually getting caught by better flush, flushes here. And now we can induce a bluff from a flush blocker and of course value from real flushes. <laughs> okay, but this guy, would he fold this flop? Probably not. My mistake for three betting these hands, I guess. This is a nice ISO against the limp. Why is that the case? Because we get a set. Mm -hmm. Pocket tens, yeah. I don't see value in betting there. 
Tents might be borderline still falling. Wow. Uh, could be two pair, like flash draw, which also now has two pair, or flash draw, which has a straight draw. The things we are just betting. But I don't love it. We are often running in like another set. But I, I also can't fold it, I think. Oh, yeah, we do run in another set, but the only one we're beating on this board, that's very, very, very nice. Whew. He had some extra outs, yeah, with the gut shot. Nice! Nice! It's a nice hand on the button. Against this guy, three betting and calling a four bet. Close one here, weird one. That's a beautiful flop. This isn't. Be afraid of pocket sevens, that's it. We are unblocking the straight draw, so I'm going a little bit bigger. Yeah. Okay, perfect turn. Still slightly down, but not much. What is this? A lot of nothingness. I think it's you can pot fold. I think this might be one of the combos that you can pot fold, getting a snap brace, folding close here, but okay enough. Hmm. Actually, betting here, unless he has the nut flush draw like ace five parts, he's not gonna bet much. And now we are just check calling. Probably good. Yeah. <laughs> what is this coordinated son of a flop? Oh, 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 wow, what is this river? I'm gonna bet depolarized here as I would maybe with a flash. Just hoping he doesn't have pocket sevens and all is good. Or seven, six. <laughs> that would be so insane. I think he's folding straights here, but flashes? Still hard, probably. Folds. Okay. Very lucky river. Um, I'm, I mean, I'm not betting for value or anything on the turn. I just think we're getting enough folds from hands that don't fold against a tiny flop bet. Looks like we didn't. Uh, interesting. We're gonna pot here almost. We want mostly folds, but if we're getting called, um, now I pot again. Do I? We pick some, up some extra shoulder value. That's a bad river. He snap call, snap checks. That's usually an ace x hand that we don't get to fold. So yeah, it's you wouldn't fold this on the turn two, obviously, but. I think it's played okay. Could pot turn, but against some a6, a5, still in bad shape. Bad pocket kings. I don't like it much out of position. Also, if he's nitty to fold against this guy. Hmm, still gonna fold. Might think I'm a crazy nit, but I think GT always. Not bad. Without any extra help for the kings out of position, they play really, really, really badly. 
Folding, raising this one, building some pot with an insanely connected hand. It's good, getting one fold is already good. Now we have position on him, but not on him. <laughs> Actually could bet two-thirds pot here. He snap calls this. Maybe it's just his routine. Nice to find a fault here. I don't know what he calls. Maybe some... I don't know. 7-8 with back to flush draw type of chance. Also this one. It's just so cheap but not thrilled about it. I think I'm gonna play a few more hands and then call it a day. Probably playing for five more minutes, then we have like 75 minutes, quite long session. Quite the swings also. Ooh. I don't love three betting here, I just play it super safe in the small blind. Checks all around. Weird one. Um, this is a good check. Well, I'm blocking some combos here. <laughs> I think he stabs so much here. I don't know if I can call this. I think I also need to fold this out of position. Horus 3000, that's again, where are you, where are you, half pot, looks very valuey, it's probably a check most of the time, we are blocking some flash draws, <clears throat> even blocking for five, yeah I guess this, maybe it's already a fold on the turn. It's not a rack. Just one tabling. That's nice. I'm gonna pop this because we blocking the ace tens. We blocking the tens, and we have some equity if called. And actually, we have an easy fold if getting raised. If you raise here, that <laughs> what the fuck is this river? I think I'd have to snap check it back. Wow. Okay. I like his play. I mean, on the river he could think about stabbing a bit, but he isn't super thrilled, but he most of the time, of course, still has the best hand. It's a little too weak to 3-bet. Hmm, he just folds. I would have 3-bet, I think, in position. Um, what about big fall against the race, step some turns, a little bit dicey, I think if a heart peels, if a four peels, Something like this. I'm I'm barreling, but now I'm giving up. I actually need to have some give ups. I, I usually barrel too much turn. I think it's interesting here with the queen. You're blocking some nuts. Still prefer the check back. It's close though. <laughs> it's getting weird here. Well, we either were good on the flop or not good at all. These snap bets. It's beauty. He's spewy. He can have king nine, ace king, nine seven, pocket fours, <laughs> pocket eights. 
I opened, he called the missing mole blind. Um, no, wait. Oh, he opened. So he has the ace king combos for sure. He checks. I think I'm gonna call, I don't know. Maybe it's just pocket kings. Pfft, I'm so proud. <laughs> Hero call. That's actually not a bad bluff, but it was a little bit snappy. Oh, I should have bet here. What am I doing? Not not flush, not straight blocker. Oh, I, I <laughs> there's another guy still in the hand. What am I doing? Uh, I have to call this, I think. Maybe I got a worse flush to fold. Like, uh, uh, not a good flush to fold here. But it was my attention. I just want to go for value against one player, but not against two. Guess we have to fold here. Yeah, I think that's enough ace-x. Sure, sometimes it's something else, but... Looking at the stats. Yeah, not much we can do here. I'm not even sure if you should ever bet an ace x hand here. <laughs> it's an ugly hand, but it makes for a pretty good 3-bet. Yeah, but folding is the question. If you have 3-bets a lot, I'm gonna... Okay, now I'm folding. Ah, uh, yeah, okay, the 5 minutes are over, so... To my hands that are not in the big blind. Uh, kings against UTG, tight boy. Really bad kings falling now. Really bad hand. One button hand. One middle position hand. One more button. Okay. Yeah, let's call it a day after these two. Oh, actually, two playable hands, that's nice. Or maybe not. <laughs> let's see. Hmm, interesting. Gonna check this one back. He has a lot of Queen X that he probably starts betting on this turn. Probably wants to bet it on this turn, yeah. I actually think I'm gonna fall here. I have some outs, not so many. Ugh! Losing chips. Gonna bet once here. Okay, I think that's it. I think we're slightly down. Um, was a fun session still. Um, quite some swings, and that's definitely PLO. Um, I just recently, not on GG, on the last side that I like to play, had like a, what was it? I think it was a over 20 bind downswing. And it was a downswing. I mean, my EV line was over 20 binds above what I was actually um, gaining or losing. So yeah, we are down, um, but not, not crazy much. And we played like 75 minutes. Uh, let me show you the sheet file here. Yeah, um, was fun. I wish we were up. Pretty long grind. I think in the beginning I didn't play optimally. Some mistakes for sure. But generally speaking, I guess I have a slight edge on the field. But I need to do more studying again. I did a little bit too much playing recently. Yeah, but I'm actually excited to be back with a tournament video on the weekend. Maybe one more PLO session before, maybe even five card. Um, just for fun. So stay tuned. Uh, wish you guys good luck at the tables. Leave a comment, leave a like, share this with friends. 
poker friends or other friends. And thanks for watching. Bye bye for now.